Are you learning stuff? It's actually the World Teacher Day today. Prudence, yeah. Um, and we're at Norra Latin, which is uh, an old school. And I thought, what would be better than to celebrate this with a quiz? Ooh, yes. We're going to play a game with Mikkel Botnien Diamant and Stefan Landin. But before I welcome them, them up on stage, I just want you to pick up your phones. Yes, I said that. Because uh, you're going to need them. Um, we have a Wi-Fi connection for those who do not have uh, 4G for our international guests. Uh, this is how you connect to it. Uh, I got advised, though, that if you can use your 4G, use it, or the Wi-Fi will be just hullabaloo. Um, so do that. And I'm going to connect myself and do this quiz with you. But please welcome Mikkel Bodnian Diamant and Stefan London, and they will tell you more. Good afternoon. As you heard, my name is Mikkel Botten Diamant, and this is Stefan Landin. We have been working with global questions for some years now, because as you can see, we are pretty old. Uh, no, but we've been, work <laughs> we've been working with um, questions for a while, but we did it individually, so. After a while, that became lonely and sad. So we started working together. And um, I see you're already okay, you're anxious to get you know to get started. But what what happened was that we, when we so when we so when we get, got the the question to come here and do individual le uh, lectures about the development of the world. Uh, we said, no, we want to do it together. So in, instead of 30 minutes with me and 30 minutes with Stefan, you get one hour with us. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but that is what going, what's, what's going to happen. When, and we thought, well, we have, when, when, now that we have one hour, we thought, well, why don't start with having some fun? So we figured, let's do a quiz. Let's yeah. have a quiz night. You talk too much, Mikael. Now we're already <laughs> over 150. Uh, we should, you should tell them to do two and two, right? Okay, so uh, uh, we didn't mean you to, we didn't want you to go into Dementi.com yet, <laughs> but obviously you did. So please stop. No, uh, yeah. Because uh, the system can't hold more than 150 participants. So our idea was that you were supposed to play in couples. You individual people, stop Did, that. Didn't you just hear his <laughs> fine story about working together? Working together yeah. is better than no, individually. But that's, that's fine, though, I think. We'll, let's so stop now, and if you, do, if you haven't entered yet, find someone that are already in, okay? Next to you, preferably. <laughs> and, and if you have, if you're already in there, you can still talk to your neighbor while you do the quiz. Because cooperation is always good. Um, I think we'll... Okay, people are leaving now. That's good. No, stay. Well, okay, <laughs> never mind. Let's do this. Okay, so now you're in. And um, we, uh, we will ask you 11 questions. You'll have about 20 to 30 seconds to answer the questions. It depends... Uh, how long that question is. Yeah. So uh, sometimes some some questions are longer than others. So uh, we will tell you how much time you have, but you uh, you will get 11 questions, and there are two uh, things that we look for. The, the right answer, obviously, is the one thing, and the other thing is how fast you do it. Okay. So both you and you can give the right answer, but you are faster than her, and then you'll get more points than her, okay? Did you understand that? So think it through, but be fast. Okay? We can try with the first one and see how you work. How, yeah, how, let's how it try it okay. with the first question. 
I'm going to click play here and you get the first question both on the screen, I think, and on your uh, devices. Let's go. Here we go. The first one. Get ready. What is the average life expectancy in the world today? Look at your phone. 20 seconds. In Swedish, that is mer than livslängd. Zero answers? No, 95. <laughs> okay. Okay, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Okay. One. Okay. There we go. And I think we will get the result up here right now. Yeah. Most people thought 70 years the life expectancy, and that is, that is good. the correct answer. Very good. Good well on you. And then fastest, and thereby most oh. point is pussy destroyer. Okay, uh, you others yeah. need to be better than that one because we want that name yeah. down from the list, okay? And uh, who is that one? Do you dare to raise your hand, <laughs> Mr. PD? Okay, Mr. PD. Um, okay. I think we should take that away and go for the next one. Uh, Mikke forgot to tell, it's good if you write your own name so we can see who the winner was. Uh, question number two then. Are you ready? Here you, oh, 65. You still have to have your uh, browser open. This is probably what happens when you're too many on the quiz. We never tried this before with so many participants. Here we go. I will start the countdown and you will get ready. Four out of ten lived in extreme poverty in 1990. How is it today? You actually got the answer in Clara's first talk here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Hurry up. Okay, very, very good. It has decreased, and that was... In fact, it has decreased with more than 50%. Uh, the goal was to have it between 1990 and 2015, and poverty rate went down with approximately 60-65% over this period. We'll talk more about that later after the break, uh, when we'll, we'll probably get back to some of the questions. Uh, okay, back then. question just three. Very quick. Oh, good. Lord. Lord Hannes. Very good, Lord Hannes. We are rooting for you. Who is Lord Hannes? Good, Lord Hannes. Question number three, waiting for players. Okay, they're uh, getting less. I, yeah, I don't know what happened, but let's just give it a few seconds. They warned us for playing this with you, many of you. Yeah. So, when we're over 160, I will go. Get ready. Here's okay. the third question. Malaria deaths, has it increased or decreased since 2000? And by how much? Probably not the easiest questions in the world. 12, 11, 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Very good. <laughs> Most of you got that right. You we guys are good. Oh, Lord Hannes still on top. In front. Funny. Who is funny? There is funny. And uh, funny? Oh. number three. Where is number three? And Bengtselius. Okay. There. Okay. That's uh, how many questions did we get? This is number four. Four. I will just. Oh, no. I'm waiting for players. Two. Oh, here we go. 45, 50, there we go. Okay. There's an element of randomness in this. What is the most common cause of death in Sweden out of these three? <clears throat> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You answered heart attacks, and that's actually correct. We'll go straight to the next one right away because it's quite similar. 
Okay, the next question is similar. Ish. Ish. 160. Okay, there. You can go now. This is weird. Oh, lucky that guy who got the poop. Here we go. What is the most common cause of death in Afghanistan out of these three? And there are other ones. Traffic, diarrhea, or war, violence, and terrorism. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, let's see. People thought it was war and violence, ah. but it was diarrhea. Go diarrhea! This is the first question where the majority wasn't right. That leads us to check the leaderboard. Karin Albert, Way to where go, are you? Karin Albert. Yay, hey. congratulations. Ella, Lord Hannes, then Celius is still up there. And Emma also entered this one. Uh, okay, question number six. Like that angry. Wonder what the size represents. Yeah. That's maybe the points or the ego. Maybe, or I don't maybe it is. Here okay. we go. Question number six. Which decade was the most peaceful out of these four? What if we count combat death, that is, people killed in combat by bombs and aircrafts and violence, direct causes of death in a war. So, which decade was had the least combat death? Out of this. Three, two, one. You are correct. In fact, the last 15 years on this planet has had the least combat death of any 15 years back to at least the year 1300. So we have lived in a period of, of the most peaceful 15 years re on record, but that's not quite the sentiments when you get when you read the papers, uh, but that's according to, uh, to the global data. Let's move on. Question number seven. seven. I'm not good at counting, apparently. Here we go. Okay, Stefan, before uh, yeah. you... Okay, so... <laughs> before... This is a long... Long line, okay. Oh, yeah. The global aid amounts to 130. No. Okay, sorry. How okay. has the violence in Sweden changed over the last 10 to 15 years? That's weird. You can go to Oxford. Ooh, I think you have. Oh, we're impressed. Very impressive. Uh, I think we missed a question. Let me see. Or oh, just moved on. Seven? Is that the one that should be? No, it should be. Yeah, it should be seven. Okay, it's seven. Let's take, try this one then. Yeah, okay. Let's go listen first. Yeah, this is a long sentence, so I need to read it. Okay, so the global aid amounts to $135 billion, at least uh, in 2014. How much is spent on the military globally compared to that? That's so the, the question, question is, the military spending compared to uh, the global aid budget of $135 billion, okay? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And your answers were? Oh, 
Oh, finally, you were wrong. <laughs> the majority were wrong. <laughs> now People you actually get so happy. Yeah, you actually shared. Yeah, 13 times. <laughs> Woo! I'm happy for you, Madeleine. Yeah. Uh, I think we should take the next one and then check out the leaderboard after this one. Because that's so all we can now do. Now it's question nine, right? Yeah, question number nine. Question number nine. This is how you have to prepare in the Eurovision Song Contest when these things fucks up. Then look at us, how well we are dealing with the technical problems. Here we go. 130, 50. Question number nine. Look at your phones. Which of these countries has the lowest child morality rate? Mortality, mortality rate. Morality rate. That's another question. We don't know the morality rate in most countries. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, though. Yeah, it is. That should be the next question. Oh, I, I, I can guess. Two, one. <laughs> ah, Singapore you is the correct answer. said Norway, but it's Singapore. As half Norwegian, I'm thankful and grateful. Anyone here who feels that they have, uh, what's the word? Uh, only correct answers on all questions so far. Anyone? One, One. person. And, and he's lying. Karin Albert on top. Ella, Fanny, uh, Phil, Phil, Bill, or Ando. Okay. Uh, how many questions left? Mike, you do the math. There are two questions left. Two questions left. And then after this, we'll probably go to Fika or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Last but Oh, sorry. Did I? Okay, they're in. Should I do it again? Sorry. we we'll go back here and give you another shot at this. <laughs> I only let like five of you in, so that would be... <laughs> smart move. This is what happens when you have 170 players. So we didn't have 300. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Santa, wolf, fire. It's Next question. Get ready. What percentage of all children starting school are girls? It was one of the Millennium Development Goals Four, to reach 50-50. Three, three, two, one. Okay. And you were wrong. The wrong. Majority, majority was wrong. And this is actually something you should share about and applaud. Very good. This means that the girl-to-boy ratio in primary school in... Uh, in countries where we have data has actually reached almost 50-50 uh, or, or 100 boys to 100 girls. Uh, and that was one of the Millennium Development Goals that we tried to reach up until 2015. And that's one of the few ones that was actually reached all the way that uh, we wanted to. So it's, it's good news. It does not mean that, that girls uh, are able to finish the whole school uh, years uh, at the same level as boys. But still, it's a really, really, really good th sign. We have one more question. Last question. Oh, smart of you. Okay. Should we? Oh. I need to read this out beforehand, I think, because it's a long sentence. The population of the Earth is 7.3 billion at the moment, approximately. And 2050, it will be about 10 billion. How many are we supposed to be in? the year, year of 2100? That's the question. Let's start the countdown. So from now it will grow to, what did you say? From 7.3 to 10 in, in 35 years. Yeah, and then what happens over the next 50 years? Okay. This is your last chance. So now if you really are on top and want to be, get the prize, you have to be really, really quick here. Okay? Okay. 
Is it 11 billion, 15 billion, or 18 billion? 11, 20, 20. 20? It's making up current. 20? 20. Throw a fax. Try. <laughs> one. Okay. Very you good. So it was People. 11, and that's right. Good on you. We will explain the reason why it did not grow or, or not expected to grow even more over the next 50 years. But I think before that, at least we need some coffee, I think. Uh, we do, so but we need to yeah. find, show the winner. Yeah, we're not done yet because now we've answered the 15 question or the 11 ones and show the winner. So the winner is? I hope it's not the first one. <laughs> oh, did you see? No, you didn't. <laughs> It's Corin Albert. Yay! Come up, come, come up. up to the stage. You need to come Albert. up to the stage. Where is Corin Albert? Corin Albert. Corin Albert. <laughs> oh okay. no! This is almost cheating. <laughs> it's okay. It's that Albert. Ah. Oh. Very okay. welcome. <laughs> Give them a warm up. A hand. warm up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this okay. is great. So they'll get two gifts. One thing uh, is our book that we wrote. And it's free for you guys also. And it's free for it. everyone. So. But it's a very nice <laughs> prize. I and, think. and these beautiful uh, uh, t shirts. Thank you so much. Well played, sir. <laughs> well played, Corey. Well played. <laughs> oh, okay. <Justice. laughs> so let's have a traditional Swedish fika for 30 minutes, right? That's not yes, useful to do that's that. right. That's Good job, job, everybody. Um, it's time for the coffee break, or as we say in Sweden, fika and a benstreck. Uh, it's uh, a quarter to three by now, so please be back at ten past three. Uh, we will get going again at a quarter past. So uh, everyone who's not back here at 10 past is going to lose their Wi-Fi connection. Just kidding, but be back. <laughs>